Welcome. In front of me is a Rogue Gear RG655 and today I'll show you how to go to the setup process of the device. And to get started, once you boot it up, you'll be presented with the language select screen with a aptly named hi there screen. Um, so let's just stop right here, choose our desired language, which for me I'm just going to stick with English, and tap on start. And next page we can insert our SIM card. Now this step will be completely optional, so if you don't want to insert it right now, you don't have to. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. And on the next page we have the option to connect to Wi-Fi. Again, this step is again optional, and if you don't want to, you can skip it. Uh, but by skipping this step actually, you do uh, lose the ability to well, have the date and time be set automatically. So. It might not be correct and number two you won't be able to log into google uh, throughout the setup now that being said you still will be able to log into google later on after the setup is complete and after you have actually connected to wi-fi which you can do all through settings so i'm gonna skip this right here and go further to well, the date and time which isn't set automatically and it's nowhere near being correct so number one, let's change the time zone to what is it, plus one, or something like that. You know what, I'm not gonna bother looking for much, so I'll just set it plus one. And it is April. Eight, so that's actually correct and the time isn't so it is right now 3 19 so that's okay now and there we go so date and time set next page google services uh, location scanning sending user and diagnostic data uh, all the typical every android has it so if you don't want it disable it uh, if you don't know what it is read it if you don't care just accept it Next page we have protect your phone, so here we can set up a pen, pattern or password or just nothing if we don't want to. So if you want to protect it, choose one, I can only choose one, um, and then just kind of add it. Now not for this purpose I will add a pattern here, and now once you choose one of those it will ask you if you want to use the secure startup, I highly recommend against it. It is just a annoying, cumbersome feature, if you can even call it a feature. Basically what it will do is, once you, well, as an example, your device dies, you plug it in for charging, you turn it back on, and before it actually turns on to, into Android, uh, there we go, there is the pattern. Insert your pattern to boot the device. You do that. And then you're on a lock screen, having to insert that pattern once more for some reasons. And if you also have a SIM card with a pin, oh, that gets even more annoying. So, I uh, honestly, I recommend against it because you do just have to insert protection twice for no reason. Now, once you choose that option, uh, one of you want it secure or not, uh, you can actually set up your lock screen. So, I'm just gonna draw my pattern, tap on next, redraw it, confirm, and voila, it's now set. And it looks like that's also the end of that setup for some reason. So that was a fairly brief setup screen which ended abruptly. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.